Kronbacher Pils. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. Got one here from Germany. This is the Kronbacher Pils. This brewery is the most popular brewery in Germany. They are based in the west part of Germany, near Westphalia, and they produce a hell of a lot of beer. And that beer is the most popular beer in Germany, and they export it to a hell of a lot of countries, the UK being one of them. But the UK only get, accounts for 3% of the um, the exports. A lot of it goes to Russia and Greece and other European countries as well. So it's really popular. And even Witherspoons still sell this. This is quite popular, which is unusual for Witherspoons because they've put a block on all um, European beer, which I think is a big mistake. They shouldn't have done that. They used to do some cracking beers, but now they don't, which is a real shame. But as I say, this is um, this is one that they still do, which I suppose is testimony to its uh, to its popularity. This is a six sixty ml bottle, and the beer is uh, four point eight percent. I imagine it's four point eight percent. They've done that to get past the export rules because I think if it's over five percent, it will cost you a little bit more to um, import it. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of duty that you have to pay on there. It's slightly worrying me that the writing on the back is all in what looks like Indian, Gujarati, or some weird language that I don't understand. Could it be Thai? I don't know. I'm assuming this is the usual Reinhardt's Gebolt compliant beer. Let's get it open. Let's see what's going on. There's the cap. Usual standard Kronbecker cap with the word Pils underneath it. On the nose out of the bottle. Again, it's got that that sulfury smell, which seems to be common on a lot of these beers that you get from supermarkets and stuff. But once you get rid of that, yeah, now you're getting the there's a nice sweet biscuity type malt and bready malt coming from that, which smells typically German. Let's get it in the glass. I haven't. Got a well, that, that's not going to fit in a pint glass anyway. But I've got just got a small glass here, which I'm going to fill it out into. Loads of carbonation. Look at that lot. Loads of it. Right, one finger white head. Golden straw colour. There. There is just huge amounts of carbonation. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but. Look at that little lot, going for it. On the nose. Yeah, more of the same. More of them light, German, bready malts. I've got bubbles sticking to the side of the glass. Again, I have to do something about that bloody dishwasher. It seems to be not clearing the residue off the glass when I take it out which is a shame because it makes the beer look so cheap and they're huge bubbles that are stuck to the side of the glass as well mm, not good there's still loads of carbonation in that though let's get it down the hatch
it's not bad. It's got it's got them lovely German malts that leave that real bready biscuity type aftertaste, which you normally get from German Pilsners and German Helles beer as well. And the only other beer that I've tasted outside of Germany, or outside beer that was brewed in Germany, is that Australia stuff, the Australia Dam from Barcelona. <clears throat> That had really good malt in it as well. But apart from that, you don't tend to find these really good, what well, I think they're good, sweet, bready, biscuity type malts. It's more bread than biscuit to be honest. But it just goes with lager so much. That's chilled out the fridge. I went to Morrison's today. Fucking what a fucking scrum that was! And I went with me uh, with me stepdaughter. She's like a fucking octopus, just throwing stuff into into the um, into the trolley, and then saying that I'm buying too much beer. Jesus Christ! And I'm I'm virtually bankrupt now thanks to that. And she's throwing in loads of shit. Honestly, never go shopping with a woman. They are a fucking nightmare, and they diver about and they piss and moan about the prices and they'll still throw it in anyway rant over let's get back to the beer this is really good I like it there's lovely malt on there as I say there's a light lemon citrus which you normally get is another characteristic of a German lager which is coming from the hops I think it's the Hallertau hops that they use. This is a Pilsner, or a Pils, as they like to call it in Germany. I think that's a way round of, you know, some brewers call it Pilsner in Germany, some call it Pils. Of course, the, the only true Pilsner comes from Czech Republic, from Pilsen, where all the beer that's that colour originated from, whether you like it or not, it did. And this is a good representation of it and to brew as much beer as they do and to have it as widely distributed as they do it's not the best beer in Germany it's the most popular it doesn't mean it's the best but to be able to get this quite easily in the UK this is a really good beer it's got them lovely malts as I keep going on about them, but it's also got the light touch of the hops, the slight lemony citrus, and the beautiful bready and biscuit arse end on it, which just lingers and lingers, and it's really nice, very Moorish. And you know what? I was going through a phase of drinking this in the Witherspoons years ago. Me and a mate from work, we used to cane so much, we used to clean the fridge out and they'd run out of it, we liked it that much, and I stopped drinking it when they started doing the heifer, the hefeweiss, the um, the Tuca hefeweiss, and I haven't drunk it since then. At one point, I was, you know, saying to myself, you know, at one point I must review this because I haven't drunk it in ages, and it is as good as I remember it. That is going to get a solid eight out of ten, and I'd recommend this. You know, if you're in a supermarket and you want a decent lager, there, there is no excuse for buying Foster's and Budweiser and Carlin and Heineken and shit like that when you've got stuff like this, Kronbacher. You've got the Camden, Camden Hells, which is a bit pricey, but it's still good. Um, you've got the, the Pilsner Urkel, which is quite widely available too. That's another really good one. You've got Budvar as well, which is another good one. So... You know, if you want a, a really good lager, you are spoiled for choice, you know. And, you know, a lot of old school camera members, they knock lager as being, oh, piss weak water, as they like to say, flavourless water. It's, it really isn't. And I think that's just ignorance when people say that. Lager is one of my favourite styles. And it always will be, because it's so light, it's so refreshing. It's not crisp. Don't let people tell you lager's crisp. Lager is not crisp. 
to me, something that's crisp is very dry. This is smooth, lovely and smooth. And it was cheap. I think it was only one, 185 or something like that. And that's 660 mil. That is not bad value. Eight out of 10, and I definitely recommend it. And remember, beer is working class champagne.